Hello, everyone. I'm Erland Sipolit. I'm the executive director of the Artist Institute. The Artist Institute is an institution that I adore and that I have had the privilege to work with for the past seven years. Today, the Artist Institute is uh, led by a team of graduates, 100% Asian, along with myself, and we need your help. What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? The work of the Artist Institute is it's unique in itself because uh, it's, uh, it's looking at development through the lens of culture. And the Asian culture is very unique uh, in its way or it's, uh, because it's really connecting, you know, uh, everyone and it's a way of living. So the fact that the Artist Institute is giving a voice to those creative and inside every Haitian, you know, there's uh, a dormant artist. The fact that he's doing that, so the impact that we have is very, very, very powerful. Through the experience that I've had working in development, I've seen many programs that is aiming at targeting sustainable change and uh, people life. It's the only time that I've seen that uh, an institution have succeed in targeting sustainable and durable change, not only for one individual, but also the community that is surrounding that individual. And that is the power that was done with the power of culture and education. What what is it about today's today artist institute today that is different and unique, and why do you, why should people support this organization? Uh, today, what's really unique about the artist institute today is that we have a, a team and a crew that is entirely Haitian, that is really uh, embedded into the culture. And that also, you know, uh, through the past 10 years, I've acquired, gathered experiences, not only in Haiti, but internationally. And it's that team that have acquired all that experience, uh, understanding it uh, through the lens of uh, their Haitianity, if I would say so, you know, that is teaching a new cohort of young uh, audio engineers and cinematographers. This is really unique. This is really unique. It's the chance really to create something that is really your own. And um, I think that it's very important to support that and to uh, let that younger generation produce and educate the generation that is coming because our culture is uh, being put in the back seat with all the entertainment that they have access with the internet and social media. You know, young people don't necessarily know uh, what is linked to their culture anymore. What are some of the testimonies that you hear from the current students, the past students, and the students now that are teachers? What is it? What what is what are the positive things that you're hearing, and what what would you like people to know about uh, these these stories that are being shared with you? Yes, so they develop a lot of experience. From their work, from from their work as professional, and they are able to carry that knowledge that they gathered on the field, and being able to teach that to that younger generation, that younger generation that is being trained right now, uh, they have uh, an example that an example of success that they can refer to, because these graduates that are teaching now they were able to be successful and the environment in an environment that is very very difficult 
it's very difficult to survive as an artist in Haiti. And they are able to, to do it. So now they are teaching these younger people uh, the tricks, what they had to go through so that they can be better at it. And that's making uh, the teaching stronger, relevant to the reality where they are living. And that's making the program also sustainable. So what would this GoFundMe um, accomplish for the school at the present moment? What, what would you like to tell people about this GoFundMe? You're, you're a quarter of the way there. <laughs> You know, we're going to make it, but what would you like people to know about this and, and why should they donate right now? This goes, this goal for me is, is very important. For the longest time, we have been thinking about putting our program online, uh, where we would have uh, uh, those uh, local teachers record classes like master classes and that we will put online uh, and will give access to uh, to more young people, to, to a bigger audience to that content. Of course, uh, cinematography and engineering is not only a learning the theory. We will find some way to have them coming on campus and do some practice. But with that fundraiser, with that money, we will be able to start putting those, uh, a, those a, the, the teaching of those graduates online. And they are very unique as I was, as I was explaining because they are adapted to the local situation of, of Haiti. And we will be able to extend our reach. That's, uh, that's the main goal of that fundraiser. Okay, well, would you like to say any last words? Thank you so much. This is a beautiful, unique program. Uh, and as a filmmaker myself, it's exciting to see the, the community grow. I've watched it from the inception and to see so many. I mean, yes. there was a beautiful post on Kezia Jean <laughs> this morning and all these graduates that are really now of the leading freelancers here in Haiti, in the media industry and in film. But are there any last words that you want to say? People should donate today, right now. I would like to say that <clears throat> uh, it's very hard uh, in a country where we are lacking of everything. We are lacking of education. We are lacking of health. We are lacking of food and there's an organization that is working in art. It's very hard to, 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 to see this is a priority. But in fact, it is a priority because uh, what the Artist Institute is doing, it's what I said before, looking at development through the lens of culture. We are not teaching those uh, that, that youth, you know, to just be creative, but we are also giving them uh, tools so that they can survive out there, create their own businesses and survive out there. And that's what makes the, that program very, very, very impactful, sustainable and durable. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons that everyone should consider to donate now and support the Artist Institute. Thank you. 